Hey guys, this is another segment I'm going to do about how to make your internet videos better. This one will involve audio. So stay tuned and we'll talk about it some. Everything is nice and slow. Cause I can make your body move when I sing my song. Hi hey guys, I want to talk about audio and your video productions. Audio is very important. It's as important as the video itself. And a lot of people neglect it. Well, what I wanted to do is I kind of wanted to go over microphones and how to set up your audio so you get good audio and uh, whatnot, and we'll go over that a little bit here. The first thing I want to talk about is your camera. This is one of the cameras I use for video work. It's not the one I'm shooting the vlog on. It's a different camera, but the most cameras will have your own camera mic. Your own camera mic is pretty good. Most of them are stereo. They're good for about three feet to four feet. I would say that would be maxing out in front of the camera. So doing a vlog like this, you're going to get pretty good audio just by being this close to the camera. Most of you guys are gonna be using your own camera mic. Make sure you've got it on 16-bit and uh, if you have a way to view or hear your audio coming from your mic, like a headphone jack, definitely plug a headphone into it and kind of talk in front of your camera and see how your audio sounds. Because lots of times I've seen so many videos here on YouTube where the audio is really bad, but the camera is really good. Keeping your audio good will make it, make it easier for you to clearly depict what you're saying to your audience. Well, I've kind of gone over the camera mic. The camera mic is, it's not really one you can talk too much about because it's on your camera. But I kind of want to go over some of the other mics um, that are out there and are available, especially if you want to do something that's kind of um, a little bit at a distance. The first thing I should talk about with this is the different types of audio jacks. This is a jack that goes from an XLR, which is a balanced connection, to a mini, which is not balanced. An XLR cable, because it is balanced and has a third, uh, I don't know if you can see that, but a third uh, uh, wire, which is the ground, you can run an XLR cable for probably 100 feet before you start having problems with buzz and hiss. Now, most of the cameras that are consumer grade, which I know a lot of you guys are using for your videos, will just have a mini. A mini is unbalanced. It is just two, well, it can be one, two. It can be a mono or it can be a stereo, but it doesn't have that third wire to ground it. So what happens is if you try and take a mini and extend it more than about three feet to a mic, you're going to probably get some static or interference. To combat this, if you're doing something that requires you to be at a distance, you can get a converter kind of like this. And you can go a mini into your camera and then go an XLR out to your main mic and that way you can string this XLR out a little further. Um, I haven't done that in a long time. It sometimes works okay, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, but. I would really go with the XLR. If you're gonna do professional work with the camera, get a camera with the XLR uh, ends on, on the side of the camera, like this one, see? It'll help you out so much in the long run. Well, let's talk about some microphones. I went over the own camera mic just a second ago. Now I wanna talk about the shotgun mic. This is one of my crappy shotgun mics. The good shotgun mic I've got right now, the Sennheiser, it's actually on the camera I'm recording this so I can get superb audio for you. But a shotgun mic is pretty much, what it does is it records the audio that's pretty much in front of it. It's not to be taken as a term that it records at very long distances because you cannot use a shotgun mic and go 10 feet away and pick up superb audio. It doesn't work that way. 
Most of the time, shotgun mics are used on pro, pro cameras so you get better audio than the own camera mic or if you're using a, a boom pole for if you're shooting someone that's a little further away. I know you've seen the WeHo and the NoHo girls. They have to be using a shotgun mic with a boom pole for their audio. That's why I think they're a production company or a talent agency or something too. Well, the shotgun goes like this and a windscreen is always a good thing to have. This is a really cheap cheesy when it came with the mic. It doesn't work worth a damn. But you can uh, get a good windscreen for normally about 30 or 40 bucks that'll work in mild, um, very mild windy conditions for outside. Um, another thing if you wanted to knock down the uh, the sound a little bit more you can go with something like a muff over your uh, your shotgun mic which will definitely take the audio out and what they do is they take this boom pole and they attach it with the XR here on the bottom into the camera and you can put this in front of the the subject and out of the shot of course and they talk into it and you get really good audio that way at a distance so that's one thing the shotgun mics will run you anywhere from 50 to to three thousand dollars this one's a pretty cheap one it was about a hundred and 150 bucks something like that and uh, the other one I've got is a much better Sennhauser um, you have to buy that in pieces and it's 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 way up there so I'm not gonna tell you too much about that unless you want to know if you want to know email me but um a shotgun mic will work pretty well I like them all I ever use I never use on camera mics half the time Another way to get good audio at a distance is through a wireless microphone. This is a little Samsung. They're relatively cheap. They run about 350 bucks. It's a multi-channel Samsung. It operates on a UF, uh, UHF frequency. I use it for wedding videos and whatnot like that and uh, some interviews. And you just attach the mic to the subject and they talk and uh, you can go anywhere up to 200, 300 feet without losing audio. These are good too, but if you want to keep it cheap, you can just go with the own camera mic or get a cheap shotgun. The best thing for all of these microphones is to remember to keep your subject at least two feet away from it, or you can go up to four feet with the shotgun mic, or with a wireless to keep the wireless kind of down here. And uh, you'll probably have to go into your, your menus on uh, your camera and maybe turn down the volume or turn it up but always wear a headphone too to find out what the levels are because you don't want to blow people's eardrums out remember your videos are only as good as your audio so try and do the best you can and make good audio with your videos i hope i've enlightened you if you have any questions be sure and send me an email thanks guys you have a great night